All right, here we go now. I want to show right you. Here and shoot right you talk about aim. Just wait till you see this. Look at that. Oh. This is for the Mark II that we got into, so we wanted to establish a look for that as well. And the the direction was to give it some sort of like a uh, aircraft rivet look. You're telling me so much that I may become a competitor. So I'll see you later. I want to start recruiting. <laughs>
the idea is to make that gray go away. That way we can, uh, and there's, we go through a variety of grits of sand. I'm not a union member. I hope I don't get in trouble. Uh, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. I don't quite agree with you. <laughs> and you see the dust it's creating. And these, these are processes that we use before it goes over to the mold department that, you, uh, that you've seen. So a lot How's of hand work and it's perfect. How's that? It's perfect. Yep, I like that's that it, word. Exactly. <laughs> we smooth it out. And then uh, once we get these parts committed to a, to a nice finish. Now like it's here, nice and smooth. Now it's nice and smooth. You see, it's nice and shiny. And it's the same material, it's that honeycomb stuff, very light. This part is, is broken into several pieces, and I help engineer how this gets broken apart up in digital. See, so they all fit together nicely. So My these parts God. will then go to mold. So these are the master patterns, uh -huh. see. And then um, once they get molded, then they come back to us, and we start getting into all the finish work before paint. Use an airbrush? Airbrush. Of course. Multiple. Paint. You even blend. Even blend. There is no limit to your ability. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'll hold it since. Right, here we go now. So you just start you. here and shoot right across. You talk the about aim. Yep. Just wait till you see this. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. I'm good. Oh, wait, I left a little on the yeah, top. Should I do it right yeah, here? Should it right there? Wow. Check you out. Hey, how yeah, about that? that? Alright, what do you have anything more difficult for me? Anything <laughs> more detailed? <laughs> this starts. I see. You people are such perfectionists because to me this would look perfect as it is. But well. Once that dries and we'll do a clear coat on top of it and that's basically what you get. Now this is the trigger. And this is Yeah, which is the trigger? How you, how you adjust it. The trigger's right here. Oh, that's the trigger. So you hold it like that. Yes. magically turns into gold. Oh, wow. I don't want to put too much. Is that about right? Or do you need more? No, we need more. Oh, yeah. It's never enough. And in order to get this finish, we would take a um, pads like this and, and brush the gold to kind of get this finish like this, see? So you just kind of rub it down. Until it got to look like Until this. it got to look like that. Then, they, then we put it like a matte finish over the, the surface. But this was helpful in establishing the very first color schemes for the, uh, for the first movie. We you certainly it. wouldn't want it like that. No, no. It's, and this is so real looking. Exactly. This is for the Mark II that we got into, so we wanted to establish a look for that as well. And the, the direction was to give it some sort of like a uh, aircraft rivet look, you know, but without it kind of uh, uh, breaking the surface. So we just used a little bur burnishing tool like this. We, we dropped in the little rivets after we had done this brushing. But you can see the brushing, the specularity is in, in various oh, areas, yeah. you see. Yeah. So, you know, it's running this way and this way and this way. So it kind of gave you the, you know, the nice look for the, uh, for the Mark My II. God. So. It's amazing the work that goes into these. Well, you know, it's just figuring out process. And the effort to make them perfect. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then you see, then we'll, we'll pull that off. So you see a nice shiny, but then you get this kind of nice dull brushed look. So that's this, what, is, this is so much better. This is like the equivalent to this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is a stunt mask we made of, of Robert and uh -huh. Tony Stark. So sometimes they needed a double. So we, we made a, a mask that we can. Gee, that's just, a great mask. For distant shots and so on, you know, you can you can kind of get away with certain things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it yeah. kind of helps out. That is a great mask. The, this is the fabrication. Um, a lot of things are, once you make it and sculpt it, then you have to put it together so it actually functions. These are the hard hands, and then we have soft ones for stunts, then multiple helmets. This is a flexible one, you know, so you can take hits. There's nice hard ones from uh, 
various films. Now, what makes you determine whether it'll be this one or this one or this one? Well, it's just shot by shot. This is real metal. This is paint. You know, it'll look better on Whatever will look better in, yeah. in the particular shot. That's right. Yeah. yeah. This one here is kind of a work in progress piece, but this one had the repulsor in there so that you could wear the whole piece with the lights. And then inside of the forearm, you know, all the gizmos that help make, make him run. Yeah, D yeah. Does his thing. There, there we, we are. Zip you in so you look. <laughs> Jeez. Even this is so carefully done. Where's that damn Mandarin? <laughs> One last thing right here. A couple of mementos from your trip here at Legacy. That's the mask that you painted? Yes. That's for you. Oh, you thank that. you. That's great. Sign he, it. He, he said something it. about it. <laughs> oh, wow. And then we also have uh, this Iron Man statue for you. So that's for you to that's take. Bless right. you. All right. Thank Dave, you. Dave, grab that yeah. for me. I had a great time, and I think you people are just wonderful. You're all geniuses. And I'm glad I came and, and saw it. And it was fantastic. Thank you for yeah, having yeah. me. <laughs> thank you. Hey, true believers, see it kamikaze. <laughs>